All right, hey, thanks, Robert. I'm here with Gold Glove first baseman Paul Goldschmidt. Hey, I know for me, being a right-handed first baseman and coming to spring training, this is the time where I really got a chance to get a lot of work in and really work on some of the things that you know, I needed to do. And the one thing that you know that can be tough for right-handed first baseman is that 3-6-3. Three, three. Mm -hmm. I want to go through a little bit you know, with you about how far are you trying to get off and when the ball's hit to you, what's your footwork to make that throw throw to second base. Bouncing off is going to depend on a couple things. Who the hitter is. I mean, you know this. If you right. had the, the big left-handed hitter <laughs> yeah. for us is Carlos Gonzalez, Adrian Gonzalez, big poppy when he was playing. Right. I mean, you don't have time to try to cover as much ground. You just got to get your head around and get low so they don't smoke one at you and, yeah. and you miss it. So, so you, so you want to be set. You don't want to be moving when you're, when you're coming off. You want to be set. Yeah, most importantly, I mean, of course you want to cover ground and get out there, but I got to be in a good fielding position because if I'm not, I'll probably make the air. It doesn't matter how much ground I'm covering. Right. So you know, take this right foot and I just slide it here. Now I'm centered and then just depending on how the hitter is, who's pitching, how quickly he is to the plate, maybe I can only get a half step and I'm down here with the lefty ready to go either way. Okay. If it's a righty, you know, or, or someone's a little slower to the mound, um, you know, as I get here and then I can maybe get a step or even two to cover this hole a little bit better. Right. But, you know, depends on what's going on to be in that good fielding position. So that's the most important thing. Okay. You know, catch the ball and then catch I'm going to the make the right. throw. Ball right at you. And you're going to turn that 363. So you, you get off your set, and then that ball is right at you. Yeah. So it's going to depend on if it's a little slower and I can get to the backhand, that's going to be really nice because that's going to be a way easier throw for us right handed first baseman. Okay. Keep the runner here so you can make sure you can pick up the bag. If it's so like, you're, going to, you're going to create the backhand. Yeah, if, if I can. If it's a little, hit a little slower, even if it's right at me, I can kind of drop my right foot move through it and then my shoulders are kind of more square and so okay. that's going to be the easiest play if I can do that right. it's kind of like the one you just rolled right. maybe it's a little harder I don't have time to create that angle I'm gonna to have to field it you know in front like this and for me now I'm gonna to spin to my glove yes. side spin around and make that throw towards the second baseman right you know it's gonna to be tough if you're like this to then spin back to your right and try to throw I mean your balance is all off when you right. have it like this it's a lot easier to spin around um, and make that throw and you know set your feet and your shoulders towards second base. How many ground balls are you taking at spring training when you get out here maybe for some early work or, or with your routine of batting practice? How many ground balls do you think you're taking? 40 to 50. It's not like we're killing it out right. here. We understand that you know we're here for four, five, six weeks. Right. You know, for me in the regular season, it probably is cut in half. I'm taking about 25 a day. That's why he's the best in the business right there. Goldie, thanks a lot, man. Very educational.